You'll need to create a bootable USB drive with the distro on it to install Ubuntu. You can use a CD if you want, but USB is the easiest. In order to download Ubuntu server, just search Ubuntu in Google and go to ubuntu.com, find their downloads tab, and you're gonna look for Ubuntu server. I recommend just using the 16 here. It is guaranteed for the longest support. 17 just has more features, but you don't have to worry about it for a Plex server. Click on download. Once it's done downloading, you're gonna need two other pieces of software. You're gonna need SD formatter to format your USB drive, and you're gonna need Win32 disk imager. SD formatter, make sure that you choose your drive letter for whatever USB you want to choose. If you have an external hard drive plugged in and you choose that drive letter, it's going to format that drive. So just make sure whatever USB you're using, choose that drive letter. Simple enough, just click format, it'll format the drive. Win32 disk imager, if you can't see, it's always going to look for an image file. So if you can't see the image that you downloaded, Say it's like a .iso, you just click all files in the file explorer and it should come up wherever you wherever you downloaded that file. Simply click right and wait for it to finish. Now it's time to place your bootable USB into your server and boot it into its BIOS. Restart your server and watch your boot flash screen for your BIOS key. Most times it's either F4, or F11, or F12, but it could be anything. It could be delete, just make sure you watch that splash page. If you can't get into your BIOS, just try and find where it says your boot options and choose your boot USB key. Your BIOS will most likely look a little different, but find where it says boot. Now you need to change your boot order off the hard disk, which is probably your, your first boot priority, to the USB thumb drive with Ubuntu on it. It should be named whatever you named it or the name of the drive's manufacturer. Move the USB drive to the top and then go to exit and choose save and exit. It should reboot into the Ubuntu Grub, and then you can just click Install Ubuntu Server. You should now see something like this. I'll quickly run you through how to install Ubuntu, but basically follow the directions on screen and you should be alright. Here you simply click your language, in this case it's English, and you click your location, in this case it's Canada. Click No for do you want to detect keyboard layout. Click whatever you are, in this case it's English US, and your keyboard layout, again English US. This is your host name, what you want it to appear on your network. Uh, you can name it whatever you want, Plex Media Server. In this case, I'm naming it Plex Video. When you see something on your network, this is what it's gonna show up as. And now for the installation, it's gonna walk you through creating a new user for non-administrative activities. You can make whatever you want. This is the full name. In this case, I just name it STTP, all uppercase. And here's where you make the actual username. Make sure you remember this. In this case, I'm making an SDDP. Make sure it's all under case and then choose a password. Again, make sure you remember it. Click continue and just retype it for verification and click continue. Click no for if you want to encrypt your home directory. Now it's going to find the closest place to you for your time zone. Click yes. If your drive has been used for another operating system, just click yes. When it comes to the partitioning, it's your decision. Just in this case, I'm choosing to use the entire disk. And then you choose your hard drive, not the USB drive, the hard drive. Click yes. Just click continue for this. This is the HTTP proxy. Just leave it blank and click continue. This is for all the server packages that you want. Uh, OpenSSH is one of the main ones. You definitely want to install that. That's basically the only one you got to worry about. I'm, in, I'm putting different things for me. Just make sure you have OpenSSH server installed. Once it's done, click continue. Once that installation is complete, it should run through some first time checks and then it should boot into your login credentials. It should be asking you for your username and password. Now, if your screen looks like this and it's asking you for login credentials, everything worked as it should. Just remember the username and password that you created before and type them in here. And it's as easy as that. Ubuntu server should now be up and running. If you like this video, feel free to leave a comment, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, that would help me out a lot. 
once again, thanks for watching.